shit. That's when you know who loves you and who really, who really loves you and who really just lying against you. So my point is, yeah, I'm scared of you. Yeah, enough. Yeah. Enough. So my point, look, look. What I'm, saying to, you, enough. Enough. What I'm saying to you, bro, are you, you, are you, you're a Christian, correct? Okay. Well, this guy clearly is more, more, just smoking, he's not interested in all The smoke is a fact, he's here. What I would say to you, you, do you believe Jesus as God? Do you believe Jesus to be God? He's the son of God, okay? So he's not God, you don't believe he's God. He's also God. I always ask questions, yeah? Is there anyone more knowledgeable than God? So when Jesus said, no one knows the day and the hour, but even the angels in the heaven, nor, nor the Son, but only the Father knows the hour. Was he saying the truth or was he lying? Jesus in Mark 13, 32 said, no one knows the day and the hour. Okay, but then Jesus was human, right? Okay. So he didn't know the hour, but then he was heaven and he became free. Yeah, but God knows everything all the time. <laughs> when Jesus was on the earth, he was a human, right? Yeah. yeah. And he was able to die, he rose again, right? Okay. So he was a human then, he felt pain, and he didn't know the hour all the time then. He because, was human. Yeah, okay, when he was, he became human. So he became ignorant. Because God knows everything all the time. If God didn't know the hour, and Monday or Sunday, regardless of what he become. Because if he become human, by definition, human is not God anymore. And by definition, God is not human. You see, because if he became human, then who's going to be bringing him back to become God? It doesn't make any sense, to be honest. Because some stuff we only believe in our heads doesn't not exist in the real world. By definition, human is not God, correct? Okay. By definition, God is not human. Yeah. So how do you tell me God became human? Yeah, but a son, even if son was God as well. You know, uh, look, look, that's the beauty of Islam, yeah? Islam will believe in one God, perfect God, has a perfect attribute, who chose people amongst us, Moses, Abraham, Jesus, Jacob, Isaiah, Daniel, to convey the message, what is our purpose in this time. But we don't believe, none of them claim to be God. Because God, when he sent them, he sent them to convey the message. That's why God said the Quran, if any one of them claim to be God, then God will destroy him. Because they were doing the job of God, meaning conveying what is our purpose in this life. Because our intellect is limited. We cannot know in detail how to wish our creator. If you, if, you, if you agree that our intellect is limited, yeah. it's not for me to comprehend how Jesus was God and human at the same time. That's a good question. Yeah. No. I can't comprehend. No, we're not talking about, when we say our intellect is limited, when we're talking about God and human, we're talking about something we can comprehend. You see, I'm not asking you how, how big God is or how does he look, because we don't know. So the question that our that the subject we are dealing with in hand is a subject that both us, we know human, we know who, who is human, they are imperfect, they are born, everything. So we know who is human. If you tell me God became human, I'll tell you it doesn't make any sense because I know who he, the nature of human being. You understand? So we're not talking about something beyond our comprehension, our understanding. You with me? So now if God became a human, that's a contradiction because but God... If you, but if you accept the Bible saying that God sent his son to be human, for a given period of time, until it became God again, and that's... That's a contradiction. It doesn't make any sense. God is something. That's it? Okay, when you say can, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 ask question. There's different between, brother, brother, brother. There's different between what God is and what God does. What God is, does it change? Okay. So you are doing, you're talking about God, what God does, then you said, can it change? No. God, what God is, that would make God. Now, for example, can you say God, he knows sometimes, he doesn't know sometimes. Or you say God knows everything all the time. That's it. So what we're talking about, what God is, what God is, is doesn't change. What God does, he does whatever he wishes. According to his wisdom. That's paradox, brother. But it's a possibility if you want. Okay. Okay. No, wait, it's the same question. No, no. No, that's a paradox. That's a paradox. It's a par you agree with it? Yeah, it's a paradox. Because if God became human, okay, now why is human? Human doesn't have God power anymore. So what happened to his power? Gone. So where's going to start? Be confused. I need to become God back again. 
Brother, you know what's paradox, buddy? You know what's paradox? Yeah. Paradox is like telling me someone exists and don't exist at the same time. It's a paradox. Is it a paradox God perfect all the time, but he's going to become imperfect? That's a paradox. Because if you say God perfect by definition all the time, then you say to me, you know what? In 2002, he became imperfect. Well, just what God is perfect all the time. That's why you have to differentiate between what God is and what God does. What God is does not change. What God does, He spoke to Moses. My neighbor spoke to me. You know? He created the Jesus out of Father, but not me. You understand? He spoke to Prophet Muhammad, but not you. You understand? You know, the, no, brother, this possibility. Brother, this possibility. No, it doesn't make any sense, brother. For that possibility. Because what you have to understand, bro, there is something which really exists and something only exists in your head. Like the brother mentioned here, a good point. It can God create stone that you cannot live. That is a paradox. This, 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 this question is wrong. Why? Because if God was able to create something heavy, therefore God has more power than it to begin with. You see, and the, 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 last, the last part of the question contradicts the first part of the question. And this was uh, this question was created and was made by a group called Sophos Ion from the Greek philosophers. Aristotle himself refuted them, Plato refuted them. What they used to do in the argument is to create questions which doesn't make any sense, just to confuse their the opponents. Do you know what I mean? Okay? So what what is doesn't change? So the point here, bro, look, what we say to you, keep talking about Christianity. It's very simple. God is one. Okay? God is three. Let's make it says a shampoo. Do you want shampoo? No. <laughs> it says I'm three in one. Shampoo, you know shampoo? Three in one. <laughs> but look, I'm going to three in one boy. That doesn't make any sense as well. It's a paradox. But, but you just said that we're humans and we don't understand everything. No, no, no. The definition of it. Bro, again. No, 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 Again, what we're talking about here, you're not talking about something we cannot understand. Let me make it clear to you. Is the Father fully good? How many good we have now? <laughs> How many good we have? One good. Nah. Okay. Is the Son fully good? Now, yes. He was in earth, he was in Yeah, yeah, even now. Is he, is he fully good for the second argument? Okay. How many gold do you have now? How so many shampoo do you have? One, wait, 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 wait. The father is fully good. The son, so if the father is fully good, we only have one god. I'm not in need of another god. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, look. You know what, yeah? Well, I believe the mighty messenger Jesus, he never came with his teaching. That's a teaching that was adapted by the pagans, the Roman pagans. Jesus never came with this. Jesus clearly said, the only true God is the Father. In the Quran, he said clearly also, all oh, the Israelites, worship your God and your, my God, who is Allah. The teaching of Jesus is so clear. The, 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 the true teaching of Jesus, he makes sense to a child, likewise he makes sense to the shepherd, likewise he makes sense to the person who has PhD in Oxford University. The true teaching of Jesus. Why? Sorry for that. One God sent the prophets and messengers. No God. There's two God, but there's one God, but the Father is fully God, the Son is fully God, but there's only one, two God, one God. If you only have one God, if you have the Holy Spirit, how many God do you have? You still one God? Come on, bro. That's why, you know, Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. Do you agree with that? That's John 10 to me. Yeah. Right, yeah. I agree, yeah, because the Father, yes, yeah, good point. The Father was used among the Israelites to refer to God because God is to take care of them. So they used it as metaphorical. And also, in Aramaic, Aramaic, you know, Aramaic is another language, Syriac, Aramaic. No, the Aramaic, Syriac. Syriac is to refer to God as an Ab which means Arab, the Lord, you see? But people afterwards misunderstood it to talk it as literal. They took it as literal. No, as I said, that term father was used as a Lord, not as actual father. Yes, that's what it meant, yeah. 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 So my question was to you now, bro, yeah? I'm sorry for, sorry for taking your time. Thank you. Listen to this, bro, watch this, yeah? When Jesus said the only true God is the Father, was he speaking the truth or was he lying? Of course, was he speaking the truth? Is Jesus the Father? Is Jesus God? But Jesus, the only true God is the Father. And he just told me Jesus is not the Father. 
حبيبي يا حبيبي يا اخي Because you just agreed, the only true God is the Father, okay? And you agreed with me, no, I'm not putting words in your mouth, you agreed with me, Jesus with the Father. I think you know the Bible better than I do, probably. Yeah, but the foundation. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Here we go again. That's blasphemy. Huh? That's blasphemy according to her own belief. Uh, that, that's a good question. She, she got good. So, are you telling me the father because of Palestinian Jew? Uh, no, I'm saying the son. No, no, hold a minute. You said if you see. The one no problem. Is that, no, no, of course. Jesus, that, that's a father look like Palestinian Jew. No. So how can you say if you see me, because you're talking about the, you're talking about the, of course they cannot see the inward stuff, they see the outward. If you see me, you see the father. Either mean he looks like the father or he has the same attribute of the father. That is incorrect because Jesus said he does not know the hour, only the father knows. And he doesn't say at such and such a time, the verse doesn't allude to a, a temporal time. He says when the convergence of these events has passed, then your blood will be avenged. So, so the father is not saying 20 past 7 on a Wednesday. He is saying that when this happens, he's saying when this happens and that happens and that happens, then it's going to happen. give you signals, this morning means they know. Well, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. It's not incorrect. I tell you what, no, I'm not saying that. No, no. The analogy is wrong. Why? Do you know why? It's different between if I tell you. No, 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 no. If you ask me what is my name, I said I don't know. Yes, Am I lying? Asia. I'm lying. At the moment, you'd be lying, yeah. Of course, I'm going to be lying tomorrow if I don't, I say I don't know. I, say, I don't know. You might not know. No, no, I'm lying now, okay? Yeah. Or about my head. Yeah. So I lost my memory, my, yes. my memory, yeah? But if I say to you, I know my name, but I will tell you my name next day. I'm not lying. But Jesus said, no one knows yes. the day and the hour, yes. not exactly. even the angel in the heaven, nor the sun. Yes. When he said he doesn't know the hour, was he lying or speaking the truth? No, he was speaking the truth. So therefore, he doesn't know the hour. What, in his incarnation um, as Jesus, he does not know the hour. Okay, Jesus as God is the Father. No. Okay, so. No Trinitarian beliefs. Okay, anymore. no problem. So, according to Jesus, who the only one knows the hour? The Father, the first that's person. That's how you answered my question. That's the only one worthy of worship. And that's the only one worthy of worship. That's the only worthy of worship, the one who no, has the perfect attributes. Yeah. How old is he really good? That's it. Simple. It yeah, simple. Yeah. I tell you, Matthew 14, 27, Jesus spoke in Aramaic. So the Aramaic people believe that he says to Peter, Fear not, for I am the living God. That's a translation from his earthly language. Maya, and everyone goes on about Arabic, but the Aramaic, he says, fear not, I am the living God. So if you want to call him a liar, that's fine. No, uh, firstly, no, I'm not calling him a liar. No, no, no. But no, 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 I'm asking you simply. I'm not calling him a liar. I'm telling you that when Jesus said that's not the hour, was he speaking the truth or was he lying? He was telling the truth. Okay, lie. who has more knowledge? Who has more knowledge? The, the father, father in that instance, yeah, because the father is outside but of God, time. No, but God, no one has more knowledge than God. So if Jesus is God, no one should have more knowledge than him. He was made lesser than the angels, according to Hebrew. He was made. He was, as in his earthly form, yeah. the eternal son of the word was made lesser than the angels, but not of the angels. He was also made greater than them. And as in Hebrew, that same book, God the Father says to God the Son, your throne, O God, will endure. He calls Jesus Christ God. Okay, the that, 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 father. that the Father knows everything. Firstly, according to your okay. argument, but, and therefore we can say to Yeshua, no, that's my Bible. Yeah, 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 okay. Which Bible is that? The Bible. The Bible. All the versions of Hebrews you will find okay. the Father calling the Son God. Okay, so are you taking the literal as God? When in when Psalms, God called the judges of Israel gods. Are they gods? No. So why are you taking a literal? Because the no, wait, 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 Jesus said to them, Your words when, uh, no, will never wait, pass away. Like, when, when they pick up the stones, yeah. they try to stone him. What did they say? He said, why you want to stone me? Because which good work I've done? He said, no, because of your blasphemy. Yeah, because you're calling yourself God. Okay, what did he say? 
uh, is it not written in your law? You are a call your gods. Yeah. So therefore, Jesus is refuting that. And the, with a small allow me to finish. Mm -hmm. It's not God. Allow me to finish. Jesus clearly refuting them, refuting their understanding, which they misunderstood him. That's okay. Right. But you Christians, instead of following the understanding of but Jesus, Jesus you know, I'm I'm the point. God. that's contradiction. That's contradiction. No, it's not. Does the living God knows everything all the time? Uh, no. No. No, so he can't be the living God. He can't be God then. So he can't be God. He can be. He is. He doesn't lie. So, so God can be. Is God unknowing all the time? Uh, apparently not. Not in his wow. life. Wow. Wow. So he's going to be perfect. Yeah. 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 He's Has imperfect. Has anyone got a sound mind that I can just borrow? Has anyone got any logic yeah, anyway, or anyway. I mean, so in Allah. Allah. No, apparently there's a conversation. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, take it. Yeah. Do you guys see she? Do you do that, my friend? She said they're going to come with me. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's true. You know, that song that you talk about, the song that you talk about, I'm not going to say, I'm just 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 going to no, I'm saying that particular. Angel, angel, angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, they're not like God, God. That's what I'm saying. They're divine beings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so when Jesus said to the, the Pharisees, and he said, oh, um, you know, "Isn't it written that you are?" God? He wasn't saying, speaking to them, saying, "You are." No, 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 no. He's referring to this, yeah, 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 yeah. spoke of these other Elohim. I understand that because in the Bible said Moses, God said to Moses, "I will send you as Elohim to Pharaoh." That's what I'm saying. Even the term God, if it's used in the Bible, doesn't mean God, God the Father, or the true God. You see? That's my point. That's what I'm calling you. I'm calling people to worship the true God. But however, however, look, that even, I don't want to even go to the Bible. Check out some of the properly. I will. I will. I will. So then you can't use it. No, but I still can use it. Because it's not referring to. My point is, God in the Bible sometimes is used not for the true God. Yeah. He's used him for human beings. Not just no, 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 I'm not saying just human beings, but it's also human beings. Yeah, yeah, but it's used for more things. As the Canaanites, they would use hello, you like a lot. Yeah. But my point here is you. I want to come back to him because he seems like more open mind. Not open mind, but you don't want to come back to him. Yeah, but anyway, bro, think about it. I will read the Bible again. Yeah, read it. Inshallah, baby. Inshallah, my God. Anyway, take care. Have a good day. All right. Brother, what channel are you? <laughs> huh? No, no, no. So I see recording, what channel are you on? No. Huh? Huh? You, who, who are you? No, because I don't want anyone to record me. So the people record and they, they don't know what they do with the videos. Okay, no problem. Assalamualaikum. Yeah, we're gonna go.